Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you are using QuickBooks and also subscribe to the QuickBooks Enhanced Payroll Service, then you can take advantage of the workers' compensation tracking feature to manage tracking your workers' compensation hours and making the required payments. You must, however, set up the workers' compensation feature before you run a payroll. If you do not, the information may be inaccurate or incomplete. Also, this feature must be enabled at the beginning of the insurance policy coverage year in order to completely track the information at QuickBooks. There is no way to enter year-to-date data if starting in the middle of your insurance coverage year. In that case, you must combine the data in QuickBooks with any information that you have manually tracked in order to get the correct totals for the year. When you first sign up for the QuickBooks Enhanced Payroll, the workers' compensation feature is not enabled. You can turn it on by selecting Edit and then choosing Preferences from the menu bar. This will launch the Preferences dialog box where you can select the Payroll and Employees icon from the scroll box at the left side. Then click the Company Preferences tab. Then click the Workers' Compensation button. You can place a check mark into the Track Workers' Comp checkbox to enable that feature. You can also check the Display Message to Assign Codes checkbox to enable a classification prompt when entering employee hours into the Pay Employees or Time Tracking windows. You can also check the Exclude Overtime Premium from Workers' Comp Calculation checkbox if your workers' compensation insurance company directs you to treat all overtime hours as if they were paid at the regular wage rate. Once you've set the desired options, click the OK button to return to the Preferences dialog box where you must click the OK button once again to set your preferences. Now you must continue to set up workers' compensation tracking by using the Workers' Compensation Setup Wizard. To open this wizard, select Employees from the menu bar, roll down to Workers' Compensation, and then choose the Setup Workers' Comp command. The first screen will display information which you will need in order to complete the wizard, and you can gather that information from your insurance company if needed. Then enter the information into the screens and click Next to move through the wizard. Now after you've set up the employees and what codes they are assigned by default, you can then issue paychecks as normal and the workers' compensation will be accrued as you issue paychecks. Note that if you assign a default workers' compensation code to an employee, that code will be used by default when issuing paychecks or entering hours in a timesheet. You can also change the code used for any earning line item in these windows if needed. You can view the workers' compensation information within the Preview Paycheck window as you review your employee paychecks. When it comes time to actually pay the workers' compensation premiums, you can first run a workers' compensation report by selecting Reports from the menu bar, rolling down to Employees and Payroll, and then choosing the Workers' Comp Detail command from the menu bar. You can verify the amount to pay and where it came from using this report. Since workers' compensation is tracked as a payroll liability, you can pay the premium using the Pay Liabilities window to create the liability check. You can also create and modify the codes used for workers' compensation classification within the workers' comp list. You can open this list by selecting Lists from the menu bar and then choosing the Workers' Comp List command. You can set up new codes and enter and edit experience modification factors used for calculations if needed within this list. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.